Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do this video a little bit vlog style because um, I have so many things to do today. I'm kind of stressed about how many things I need to do today. So I feel like if I bring you along with me starting right now, like it's gonna help me and it's gonna help me get everything done. I am having a 4th of July party tomorrow. Today is July 3rd, Monday. So I need to do everything I need to do for the party tomorrow, which just is including way too many things. <laughs> I need to like film this video. I need to make edit and upload another video today. I need to clean. I need to uh, upgrade my backyard a bit and get rid of some things and install some new things. I always go to the gym on Monday. So I like, I, you know, I don't want to skip that. Um, so many things. So come along, let's prep for 4th of July. Okay, let's start by getting dressed. Okay, I'm dressed. Let's take this out. I really did not think this through. I did this hair last night um, and I was planning on like actually wearing a dress today too, but in reality, I'm probably gonna wear this workout set the whole day to just like be comfortable and be able to get everything done. Um, and I'm literally probably just gonna have this hair like up in a bun all day. So yeah, I really did this for no reason. Yeah, like I, <laughs> I kind of did this for nothing, but that's okay. Need some deodorant. face moisturizer. That is good. I'm honestly not going to put on makeup today just to make everything a little quicker too. Um, so whenever I do that, I just like to curl my lashes. All right, let's go. Okay, I just made my finalized plan for the day and I'm overwhelmed. I'm scared I'm not gonna get it all done. There's so many freaking steps. I laid out like every single step and oh my gosh, I'm a little overwhelmed. So wish me freaking luck. Um, I'm gonna eat breakfast and then I'm just gonna get started. All right, the first step I really needed to do was sort of reset my kitchen. Whenever you're gonna cook, it's great to just like reset everything and uh, put all the clean dishes away and get the next dirty dishes going. So that is what I'm doing. I needed to empty the dishwasher and then reload it with all the dishes that were in the sink. The next thing is I'm gonna start making some popsicles. So, you know, it's hot here in Arizona and I really wanted to make some cute red, white, and blue popsicles. So uh, I really kind of messed this up, y'all. I don't recommend doing it as nonchalant as I did. I recommend measuring this out more than I did. So all I really did was uh, start with the blue at the bottom and mixed a little bit of vodka in there uh, and then put it in the freezer so that the first layer could be done. And then I had to layer the rest later on in the day. I found these icy packs that you're just supposed to freeze in the freezer and it turns it to a slushy. And the actual texture of these worked out pretty well for this. Okay, I came outside to work on the backyard because uh, I figured I this is one of the bigger tasks that I'm like mentally worried about getting done. So I feel like knocking it out early is just what's gonna be best. Plus it's already 103 degrees at 11 a.m. So if I wait longer, it's just gonna get to like 110. So let's get it going.
Once the backyard was done, I decided to make the next layer in my popsicles. Uh, like I showed you earlier, I really should have measured out the blue layer better. As you can see right here, I freaking added way too little to one of them. And then on other ones, I had so much blue that I could barely even fit the other colors. So don't be like me, measure it out better. <laughs> but, you know, I just did what I could. So I just put some blue that was in excess in one of them in the one that that didn't have enough and then for the white layer i actually used a white uh zero sugar gatorade and that worked pretty well i ended up just putting a tiny layer because again i kind of put too much blue so then there was barely any room for the red oh, hold on let me turn off the fan okay i can barely continue after that first large task being outside in sun like that just killed me i am so tired now <laughs> i'm like just slowly slowly regaining energy back but holy cow it was freaking hot outside it was really hot outside <laughs> oh. that yard work, work was tough but i'm really glad i finally got rid of those broken pinwheels i've replaced those like once already before like i had different pinwheels and the ones that you saw were replacements but it's just kind of a, unfortunate that the oh, those um plastic pieces just break uh i think the sun wears them down because when i would even sometimes just touch it it would just crack off um be brittle so the sun kind of just wore down the plastic and then i guess it, it was just windy enough that you know the whole sides of the pinwheel just came off so i was like all right i gotta replace these with something else so i'm hoping that because the decoration thing is metal that it will last longer we will see uh, now i am going to clean I would normally do a deep cleaning of my house before a party, but really my friends are just gonna dirty it up anyways, and it wasn't even very dirty to begin with, so I did a spot cleaning instead. And my Swiffer was actually out of solution, so I just sprayed some multi-purpose cleaner. That is a good tip if yours runs out too. I had to honestly take a nap for an hour after being outside. I was just done so. But since waking up, I'm feeling better and I'm finishing off, my, not this video, but a plan with me video. So that's what I'm doing now. All right, it's time to add the final layer to the popsicles. So far, I am really happy with how they look. Um, but as soon as I opened this, I ran into a problem. So this is called cherry frost. But when I poured it out, it was clear. And I was like, oh my God, I needed this to be red. And I was like, what the hell am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And I was like, okay, I need to just think fast. I don't have time to go to the store. I don't have energy to go to the store. So I just added some red uh, Mio, essentially. This is just off-brand, but that worked out well. And thankfully it didn't make them taste weird. So note to self, this cherry frost one is a lie and it is not red. I can't get this in there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Okay, okay, I just have to push it in and it's gonna be fine. And it's gonna adhere to this and it's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Yep, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna work out. 
So yeah, that was the second problem I was running into. I was really scared I wasn't gonna be able to push these in, but thankfully I was able to get all of them after a little bit of work. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to do this layering technique, there's not really anything you can do about this because if I were to have stuck them in the white, I wouldn't, I don't know how I'd be able to pour the red layer in there. So I just did my best and they worked out all right. It is nighttime now and I am on to my last preparation task before the day of the party. We are grilling lots of foods because you know 4th of July is the time to grill and I also want to grill vegetables along with the meats. So I did a ton of chopping up of potatoes, bell peppers, cucumber, um, and mushroom. And I started pouring the water into the pitcher for the party. Good morning. Happy 4th of July. Let's go. The party prep has started. I'm really excited. I got a beer pong table. I'll show you in a second. I'm pretty excited. And now I am just opening all the decorations and gonna start hanging them up. I blew up these balloons with my friend last night. And now I have a beer pong table. I've been wanting to get this white, one of these white tables for so long. Thankfully, my friend Alan here helped me out. <laughs> and now it's time to open the decorations. In hanging this up, I was literally still too short to reach it, so Alan had to. <laughs> Got the cooking started. This is gonna be for the mac and cheese. You gotta make the noodles first.
It is the end of 4th of July. Just my bestie is here left. It was so fun. It was so wild. We did so many activities. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was a great holiday. I'm about to show you the aftermath. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a wonderful 4th of July. This was the best one that I've had in recent memory for sure. My next video is going to be cleaning all this up, so stay tuned and have a good day.